Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Scott with Keeping It Real Bass Fishing. Appreciate you joining the channel. If you're new to the channel, please hit that uh, subscribe button and uh, hopefully you're enjoying the content. If so, also hit that like button. Let us know how, we, how you like the videos. Um, we are up here in North Huntsville um, out on the lake. I've uh, been to a few times and caught some pretty good bass and we're gonna go give it a shot today see if we can't go get another big one and that's uh, a beautiful day we got temperatures I'm thinking in the 70s today and uh, they've been in the 40s at night we got some clear blue skies as you can see it's a beautiful day and uh, we got some conditions down here on the water it's the water's up compared to what it normally is because we've had some heavy rains at the beginning of the week uh, Monday and Tuesday has some flood flooding rains and um, it's, it's cleared off you know since about Wednesday and had a cold front come through Wednesday and temperatures have been getting down in the uh, 40s at night so the water's definitely cooled off a bunch but uh, this is a lake I was at uh, a couple weeks ago throwing a chatterbait around and a few other spinnerbait uh, I was throwing a spinnerbait and I threw chatterbait I was just trying to figure them out because when the water first started getting cool and look right there you can see in the water right there at that sign I'm trying not to spook them I just spooked them there was a bass right there so they're definitely up feeding we're gonna go see if we can't get us a big and boys catch us some bass today and um, like I say but the water's been up a little bit from all the rain and and uh, had that cold front come through yeah, it came the cold front actually came through in uh, Wednesday and it is Saturday now so it's been a few days the temperatures warming up in the 70s close to 80 you know during the day and at night around 50 and to 48 around that area so we'll see what they'll do it should be prime time It'll be time to get them with so let's go let's go get that big one boys all right guys welcome back like I say, my name is Scott, and this is the Keeping It Real Bass Fishing channel. In case you're new to the channel and just uh, joining us, we appreciate you, of course, joining us, and uh, we appreciate you, you know, viewing our broadcast. And, uh, we're out here in this reservoir, it's a little small, not really a reservoir, but it's a little small lake here. Uh, in the community. And, oh, I'm throwing this crankbank today with this, it's got the shallow bee on there, that's a computer board. And uh, you see the color scheme. I forget who makes that thing. I know it's, that plug costs about twelve dollars, so it, it's not. It's, it's a good one. I know that. It's. Uh, I got several. I wanted to try it in here, see how well it works. We got a little bit of color and the water from all the rain we've had this week. That's never good. Crap like that in a this thing cause you to lose one. T 
temperature today, if you're wondering, is in the mid 70s. We got bluebird sky, sun's out. It's a uh, I about I don't even know. I, th I think it's about two thirty in the afternoon. It's not the best time to be out on the water. It's of the day, I mean, uh, with the bluebird skies and sun shining down on out here like this but with these cool water temperatures these fish are going to be roaming they're going to be looking around the bank so i'm find something to eat they should be in the shadows which if you know a shadow over there there's something up there in that corner but this little lake right here i fished I fished it a good bit and uh this end I'm on they there's fish always down here on this end of the lake for some reason. The other end is the dam. Most of the fish I've caught out here are caught them on spinnerbait or a chatterbait. I ain't caught anything on crankbait. But might be because I hadn't throated them a bunch. I've throated it a little bit. <laughs> and I'll pick it up and and I'll throw it for a little while. Maybe walk around to throw a little bit here and there. But sometimes you just gotta like just, just bring don't bring nothing but just a crankbait and just throw crankbait all day long and you catch fish sooner or later but these fish like to hang out here on this end down here I, and that water a little deeper out there and it's, some say it, i call this a little small lake others say it's a pond But it's in the community neighborhood here. I've got houses all around it on both sides, and it's in my, you know, subdivision neighborhood. And it's full of bass. It's got some of the biggest shell crackers you've ever seen, and it's got some big old cats too. I've caught big cats not even trying to. Okay guys, where you are? Still at it here, I'm throwing this chatterbug, the old chatterbait. I call it a chatterbug, but it's, a, you know, chatterbait. Same one I, I was throwing the other last, uh, well, I guess a week or two ago. You see it there in the frame, it's got the silver blade on top it's a 3 8 ounce i believe i'm not sorry half ounce shab shab color white skirt shad that's a shad color in it and a white skirt with a little green look, look like uh maybe a bass skin color that's when i've been this is when i've been catching bass on in here Every, every bass I, well, I stuck one on, it was on a chatterbait that, uh, it was a, uh, more of a brim color. Back when the water was clear. And I've caught several on this one. We got a cool, we got no, it was a nice breeze blowing. 
nice Saturday afternoon. I'm telling you, the weather is beautiful. It is perfect. We are having a blessed day. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We're having a blessed, blessed day. I'm telling you guys, you know, if you're watching this video, I hope you know the Lord Jesus Christ. With the day and the time and the hours that we're living in, if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, you're in a you're in a bad spot. You know, God loves us more than we can comprehend. You know, He gave His only begotten Son. You know, to die, to be crucified, to be nailed upon a cross. You know, for our sins. He took our punishment upon his own body. He didn't have to go to the cross. and He didn't have to stay there. He could have came down. He could have called legions of angels, but he didn't. Because he, he loves us that much. He was willing to take the punishment that we deserve. Not just me or you, but the world. And all that condemnation upon himself. And be crucified and die that horrible death so that we wouldn't have to bury that and he died that death they buried him in a, a cave and he went to hell for us and spent three days down in hell not sure what all he did there but I know three days later he was resurrected from the dead because hell couldn't hold him because there was no sin in him he didn't do anything to deserve hell or he didn't deserve anything or any reason to even be there but yet he was so he couldn't hold him God raised him from the dead and that was for our justification you know he shed his blood for our redemption that our sins could be forgiven and cleansed so that we'd be clean before God. He raised him from the dead so that we'd be justified so we could stand and be in right standing with God. Just, just simply by just believing. You don't have to, church, you don't, or anybody who's listening, you don't have to work your way into heaven. You don't have to work your way in salvation. You don't have to work your way to, into heaven you know by being some good person or doing good things you might be listening and saying well scott you know i i, I don't know if i believe that and even if i even if i do believe it you know i've i've done some horrible things in my life i've done some bad things in my life and you might not think you should be forgiven you might not think you deserve to be forgiven. You know, none of us deserve to be forgiven. I don't even, you know. <laughs> How's the fishing today? Oh, we got somebody walking up. It's slow. Nah. They ain't caught nothing. Not yet. I've seen. I've seen I've seen fish running around, but they ain't, they ain't nothing biting. Anyway, guys, I just had somebody walk up on me out here on this pond talking to me, interrupted my conversation with you, but, you know, none of us deserve heaven. None of us deserve eternal life or be forgiven. You know, and, I mean, I've had, I've had my share 
in my life were when I was a lot younger before I met Jesus you know I, <laughs> I was just as bad as anybody else and did just as much wrong as anybody else and it, none of us deserve it his grace or his forgiveness or his mercy or we don't deserve eternal life we don't deserve any of it that's not Jesus he didn't do what he did so because we deserve it he did it because he loves us unconditionally he never gives up on us he never stops loving us his love will overtake you you know if you let him in your heart and let him into your life his love will come in and just overwhelm your heart and your life and just bless you tremendously You know, it's just a matter of believing. You, if you believe, the Bible says, if you believe, you call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and if you believe He's the Son of God, and if you believe Jesus is the Son of God, and if you believe that God raised Him from the dead, and you believe that in your heart, and you confess it with your mouth, you shall be saved. And, and, and if you... Bible says if you believe it in your heart confess it with your mouth you shall be saved because the confession of your mouth it leads and is unto salvation it, you know so whatever your man believeth in his heart he'll speak so if you believe that Jesus is the son of God you believe he went to the cross of Calvary and he died for your sins and died for you and, your, and forgiveness so you can have eternal life and you know and go to heaven and and not have to go to hell because believe me when you leave this body and leave this earth you're going one place or the other and hell ain't no big party and your friends ain't waiting on you to, there to have some big party if you believe that's what's going to happen that's a lie and a deception in itself the hell is a place of torment beyond your comprehension and imagination. Hell is a place of torment and pain and suffering but beyond anything me or you could ever imagine or think of. And it ain't just for a little while, it's forever. And there ain't no getting out. So, you know, I don't know about you, but I want to go be with Jesus in glory, be with my, you know, all my loved ones that are there. Be with you if you'll go. Jesus has made the way. He is the way, truth, and the life that no man cometh to the Father but through Him. There is no other way. Religion won't get you there. Being a, a good, a, a someone who's a good at two shoes ain't going to get you there. Trying to get there by your works and your self-righteousness. You know. And you say, well. You know, I go to church. This, Well, I'm glad you do go to church. But, you know, church ain't going to get you there either. There's people go to church and they still ain't saved. People go to church and they're not born again. They're not giving their hearts and their life to Christ. They don't serve Him. You know, the devil goes to church. And I tell you something else. The devil even believes. You, you, we gotta, we, you gotta believe, but if you believe, it ain't just a confession uh, under, into salvation. You, yeah, it's a confession unto salvation and that you'll be saved, but once you make that confession unto salvation, it doesn't mean it's over right there, said and done. You gotta continue walking out your salvation. And if you believe he's the son of God, Jesus said to follow him. He said, follow me and I'll make you fishermen of men. You know, that word follow means to imitate him. I mean, he's do what I say, do what you see me do. You know, talk to people the way I do, treat people the way I do, and do the things I command you to go do. 
live your life the way I said live your life and and so you know we God wants us to seek him with all our hearts our spirit soul mind and our strength and to worship him in spirit and truth and you got to grow to learn to do that as long as you go to church and you have confessed the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and you believe it in your heart oh I got him boys I got him right there A good one. Oh, chatterbug. I gotta grab his net. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Good fish, guys. Put my fingers in the camera. A good fish. Pretty fish. He might go two pounds. He's pretty. He's in there good, I know that much. Let me get that hook out of his mouth. He's not hurting him. There we go. I'll go over here and release him. Good fish. I can catch a bunch more of those. Thank you, Lord. Good to see you, buddy. Good. All right. That's what we're talking about right there, guys. Good catch. Let's see if we can't get another. These fish be no bigger than they are. I mean, that's a fish, what, maybe, one, maybe two pounds? Boy, they're strong. It's a strong fish, man. Poor like he's a lot bigger than he was. Let me check his line, make sure we're good. Oh, chatter bait. Chatter bug. Uh, maybe not. Find a nothing out there. This is usually down on this end where I usually catch them. I caught some on the other side. I caught, well, I caught, I don't know, I caught several, three or four up on that dam side. I caught them here and there. That's a good catch. Thank you, Lord. Hey, the, um, but anyway, guys, I appreciate you joining my channel. I appreciate you watching us. I really do. Hit that like button and that subscribe button for me. And let me know you enjoy. And uh, hey, you know, don't procrastinate and wait. You know. Call on the Lord Jesus Christ. It don't matter where you where you at. You know, come as you are. Jesus didn't come to save the righteous, but the unrighteous. Oh, I, I hit the GoPro again. Sorry about that. 
I thought I had another one. And I bumped the grass. I dug the bottom. I think I did. I could have missed one. I don't know. Sometimes they don't hit it. They just, it just, you don't feel it like a bam, you know, if, uh, when they, you know, that big thump a lot of times, you don't feel it on this. For some reason they just, it's like it just gets heavy all of a sudden. Like it, you stuck the bottom or stuck a stump or something. And I just know from experience, you better set the hook. But anyway, call on the Lord Jesus Christ. He loves you. God loves you. Find you a good church to get into. A Bible teaching, preaching, and church, and who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, His death, burial, and resurrection, and baptism, and you know, and the Holy Spirit, and His power, and His glory, and get yourself baptized in water, and to show your faith in Christ that you do believe and it doesn't the baptism in the water that's another thing that doesn't save you either and people I've had some people that really think just because they've been baptized in water that's that, that's what saved them and then that ain't true either I mean Jesus is our savior it, you're getting yourself baptized in that water that's a, uh, a symbolic representation of telling, telling the, showing unto the, the people that are witnessing, to all the angels in heaven, the devil, and the Lord Jesus Christ, that you do believe that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. He is the Son of God, the Savior of the world. Now he was dead. I mean, dead. He was. I mean, he did die the death of the crucifixion, and he was buried, and he was resurrected, and that he's alive today sitting by the right hand of the Father where he's making intercession for us. And you know, if you believe that, then you, you want to reckon yourself, you know, under Christ, that you've been crucified with him, that you are dead unto sin. In other words, you repent of your, your old ways, you repent of your ungodly ways, you repent of your old nature, you know, the, the way we live our lives at this any old day, being carnal and cussing, drinking, smoking, partying, you know, watching ungodly stuff on TV and just going and doing ungodly things. And, you know, you want to re repent, which means I stop. I'm not going to do that no more. I purpose in my heart to stop doing that stuff and turn away from it and, and, and separate myself from it and not be around those people anymore or go to those places or have anything to do with that stuff anymore that's what i desire and what i want to do i repent means i'm going to turn away from it and i turn to you lord jesus christ and, and turn to you i believe you are the son of god i believe you were crucified for my sin i believe you were raised from the dead now please come into my life come into my heart and save my soul in Jesus' name, fill me with your presence. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your godly nature, love and holiness and godliness. And create me and make me into the man you desire for me to be in Jesus' name. See, so if you pray, if you believe like that and pray and call on the Lord like that and really believe, the Lord will answer you. And, and it won't be just words. You'll feel his presence you'll sense his presence in your life he'll give you peace which passes all your understanding and he'll deliver you and set you free from your past life and your old habits he'll give you his righteousness and strength and his power and the holy spirit to live a godly life to live a life and to live a godly life with the power of his righteousness and the power of his holy spirit yeah, you may, we still are human and we still live in, in how to deal with the nature of, of the sin that's in these old, these bodies. 
and that's something that'll always be there to try and tempt you and that's where you got to grow and, and mature in the lord and, and, that, and you know and be taught how to be victorious and how to walk in the victory that the lord jesus already provided us and overcome those things it's, it's probably you got to learn it you know you're not going to learn those things overnight that's why you need to find your good bible teaching church and, and and fellowship with christians and people that are believers who have matured you know in their walk with christ they can teach you how to be victorious in christ and walk in in the victory of the lord you know and because they had to start somewhere and they had to learn too just like m myself you know i I came to the Lord and gave my heart to Christ uh, back when I was 22 years old. I'm 55 now. That's how I met, and when I met Jesus. That's a, that's a long story. But anyway, I'm not telling you, trying to, for any religious reasons, I'm not trying to get you to come to church. I'm not trying to get you to give me money. I'm not trying to get you to... To follow me I'm not trying to get you to do uh, nothing you don't desire to do I'm just telling you the truth and being an ambassador of Christ as he said to be in a witness for my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because I know what he's done for me you know I know he saved me he filled and baptized me with his Holy Spirit he's delivered me many times and delivered me from many things in my past life he saved me and he set me free and he, he's blessed me and prospered me. He's protected me. He's done miracles in my life. It's just, I could go on and on and on. And he'll do the same for you. He, God's not no respected person. Lord goodness, I mean, if you do it for me, do it for anybody. But I just pray if you're listening, just call on Jesus. Don't keep, don't per, keep on procrastinating and think you got, well, I'll do it tomorrow or the next day, the next day, because tomorrow never going to come. And it might, be t it might be too late. And you don't want to take that chance. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. But anyway, I appreciate you <laughs> listening. And if you have, you know, the Lord told me, you know, I, I do this channel you know that's why i call it keeping it real bass fishing i try to keep it real just out here you know the average joe out here catching fish but you know the lord also said he'd he'd make us fishermen of men you know he'd make disciples out of us to to go out and witness the other you know spreading the gospel and telling the other people about who he is and what he did for us and why he's provided for us and uh so that's what i'm doing <clears throat> so I, my prayer is, is that you receive this word. My prayer is that you uh, act upon it in faith and, and call on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved and, uh, and, and receive his blessing and eternal life in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, I'll catch some more fish. Got one good one. <clears throat> I think we want to keep chunking this this uh, bug, this chatterbait, or chatterbug, if you will. I'm gonna walk around this lake, chunk it. I may try to spin bait, crank bait. A little more, I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. But, uh oh, what's going on now? All right, guys. We're up here, up here on the dam sides. Was up coming up the banks, and we over here on the, the side of the dam and of this lake on out here, and still throwing old chatterbait. 
No, and the water up here on this side of the lake is not as it's uh, clearer than it is on the other side. That side is the shallower side. This is the dam side. You would think it would be muddier here. It's got a little color to it, but it's not like was on the other, uh, down on the other end, but halfway from there to here, it's like chocolate milk. But when I first started fishing, I got here at 2.33 o'clock, and it's uh, about, I don't know, something a little bit after five now, so about a couple hours. All of a sudden, it started just getting muddy, turning into chocolate milk. And I and don't know why, because there's no water or anything coming in here to my knowledge that would cause that to happen because this is fed by water in the, in the neighborhoods that when it rains the runoff water there's an inlet of one over on that side of the lake and the, down on the other end now, on the far end uh, that's where i was earlier it looks further than it is in the camera camera is the camera makes it look further away it's not as far uh, i think at least from what I see in the camera it makes it look further away but anyway there's a, a pipe on the end down where that sign is there's a pipe the water comes in and on just on the other side of that fountain in that bank over there there's one and those under but you can't see them because they're under the water but that water comes in there from the drains coming off of the road when it rains that's how this thing's fed and then there's a drain right here this is where i'm throwing at over here this is a big drain it's a overflow when the water gets up high it runs through there and runs across the street and dumps off and um, there's a big creek over there on the other side of the, the road and the water dumps off into that creek and then that creek runs off down down that way down south it just keeps going out down toward where there's some other ponds and stuff down that way and eventually runs the, well the river's out down, down that way as well the tennessee river it's a few miles from here but anyway so it kind of puzzled me on how that water got so muddy down there I mean, it just turned into chocolate milk right in front of our eyes. It's just puzzling. It still is. But anyway, this water here is it's clear. I'm sure that'll be down here sooner or later. However it got here. But I don't mind the, the color. Matter of fact, that's where I caught that, caught that bass while it goes in that chocolate milk. That's good. It's got a little color here, but about like normal. I actually prefer that that chocolate milk down there, but not fresh. <laughs> but I don't know. I just brought that up for some reason. It's weird. It's, I don't understand why. Really, don't where it come from. But anyway, I just. You know, I don't want to bore you guys with cast after cast after cast. You know, I mean, throwing a hundred thousand times trying to catch a fish. Uh oh, that was almost a disaster. Good thing I had my thumb on the spool. I just caught a tree. See, caught the limbs. That could have been a backlash. Yeah, I never would have got out. Hmm. Pay attention to your surroundings. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with every cast, like I was saying. But uh, jumping in, you know, every once in a while, as I'm moving around this lake, and let you know what I'm doing and uh, what we've done, or and uh, just trying to pick us up some more fish. I hadn't caught any more since that one I caught on the other end. But uh, of course, if I oh, there he is. Oh my God, son. Oh, that's a monster right there. 
That's a monster. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a bass. It could be a big old cat. I ain't seen him yet. He's a hog, whatever he is. He's still down. Oh my gosh. Where's the man? I ain't seen him yet. He's pulling drag like crazy. I told you there's some big fish in this thing. Let me get him in, Lord. Help me get him in. Guys, I ain't even seen him yet. I hope y'all get seeing all this on the camera. Oh, jeez. He's a hog, son. I think it's a catfish. Yep, the old cat. Y'all see that catfish? Holy cow. Y'all see how big he is? Let me grab his. A monster. <clears throat> I can't even get him in the net. <clears throat> oh, he broke my line. All right, boys. <laughs> Don't you look how big that catfish is. He broke my line. I was getting him up here on the bank. He's a big one. I thought he was, first I thought he was a bass. But, told you there's a big old cats in here. Got him in the jaw, good too. There we go. Have to retire. <clears throat> Be still, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, big guy. I can't hold him up, he's so big. If I can get him open his mouth. I got a bag of catfish. Oh God, he's heavy, man. I'm trying to cramp his jaw now. Yeah. Oh. He's big. You know how big as them monsters they get out there on the water? On the, some of them lakes. That fish, they feel like he go 10 pounds. Ah. Me. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Got my line stretched for the day. All right, guys, we're back at it again. I had to calm down after a minute. 
That was a big old catfish. I, I don't got any scales, but I'm going to tell you, he was heavy. I figure he's somewhere between 10 and 15 pounds. He's so heavy. But he's... Anyway, I wasn't expecting that. At first, I thought I had one of these big monster basses on the, that I know is in this lake. But then the way he, came, he stayed down and kept coming up and flipping that tail out, I got a good look at that oh, it's catfish. I told you, there's <laughs> big cats in here. I wasn't kidding. I, ain't, I, was, I don't know how many. I, I think that's about the third or fourth one I've caught like that. I caught, uh, the other, I've caught three like that on a spinnerbait. First time I've caught one on a bait. Yes, it was fun though. It was all I could do. Get, I, I, it was fun getting him in, I'm telling you. I, didn't know. I was just trying not to break him off. I just, <laughs> Oh, Lord, I just want to get him in and see what he was. That was exciting right there. I couldn't even get him in the net. That net's not that big. I guess I need to bring my big net. All right, guys. It's been a pleasure uh, today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you would, uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed today's content and that subscribe button for me. And uh, lets me know that you've enjoyed uh, what we've been uh, doing out here and lets me know that you enjoyed the, the video and the content, that you like what we're doing. And uh, keeps us motivated to keep on doing it. We've had a great day. Like I say, this is, well, my name is Scott. And it's Keep It Real Bass Fishing, if you didn't already know that. And uh, we've had a good day today. I say we've had some fun. The old chatterbug. <laughs> we had a chatterbait. You know, I call it chatterbug. I tell you what, this time of year, that that bait is, is something else. It's good year round, to tell you the truth. But I'll, it's a just got to throw it. But anyway, we did catch we did catch a bass, and we caught uh, a big old catfish. And uh, you know, wasn't a, a boatload, but hey, I had some fun, especially getting that old catfish in. Enjoyed that. Y'all guys keep it real out there. And uh, if you would look us up on our, we have a, uh, on Facebook, uh, Ambassadors of Christ Fishing League. It's a group on uh, Facebook. Like I said, it's called Ambassadors of Christ Fishing League. Uh, look us up, and uh, if you want to join the group, send me a, uh, you know, uh, an invitation and uh, or an invite, and I'll go ahead and get you in there. Um, if you want to join the group, you know, read it. You can read the description and kind of read about what we are, what we do. You know, we're a bunch of Christian guys out here who love the bass fish and, uh, you know, and a bunch of believers in Christ and love Christian fellowship and just out here having a good time and and also want to use the opportunity to glorify our, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and and share the gospel you know with you guys who may not know the gospel maybe you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ maybe never met him but he's wanting to meet you he's ready if you are I can tell you that he's he's knocking at your door but anyway we you know we enjoyed it and uh, check us out on like I say on Ambassador of Christ uh, fishing league there on facebook we glad to have you we got some stuff uh planned and i know we got fall now winter coming up we get enough people and on the group especially here local around here in madison county or in alabama and it don't matter if even if you're not but we want to start trying to get some uh events put together and have some good fellowship and we also want to start doing some tournaments 
some bass tournaments, fishing tournaments, and um, putting those together. And, uh, you know, seeing how, how well we can do with that. And hopefully it'll, it'll grow as more people we can get and it get, you know, get better and we can make a big fishing league out of it. That's the goal. Um, anyway, look us up. We enjoy you. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. I know you would enjoy that. We enjoy having you. And uh, we've enjoyed this day. It's been a great day, a beautiful day to be out fishing. It's Scott Pesor. We're always keeping it real. Like I say, it's keeping real bass fishing. And uh, we'll see you next time. Let's go get that big one. Y'all have a good evening.